Hey guys, all right, so guess what I have today? Guess what I got my hands on today? Oh, the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation for medium, buildable coverage that's long lasting. It's got 1% hydrating hibiscus complex. Like since when was that a thing? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna try this today. I have it in the shade 13 Fair Neutral. Now they had like a kind of interesting uh, filter system on the e.l.f. website. And it was like, you can go light, you can choose like which intensity you need, light, medium, deep, dark, whatever it was. And then underneath that fair, or not fair, but uh, neutral, warm, or cool. So they had that. And they had one lighter shade that was also neutral, which was 11 neutral, I believe. But I got 13 because I didn't want it to be too fair. I am moderately prepared today. So what do you have to say to that, huh? What do you have to say to that? I've got my sponge ready and a brush. Hmm? Okay. Hmm? Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the sponge. So, all right. Okay, the shade looks actually really good. It's very similar to the one I just did recently, which is the Pretty Smart Instant Chemistry Medium Coverage Foundation, which this is supposed to be like uh, buildable coverage as well, which it says on the actual website. So the shade is very similar. So let's see. I am going to make a slight prediction. I'm wondering if maybe these two are supposed to be similar at, in formula and all that. So let's see. This is Soft Glam. It's nice and peachy. Like, I guess technically maybe it is neutral, but it's got a bit of a peachy brightness to it, which is good for me because it's gonna brighten my face and not make me look so dead. So, all right. It is a tiny bit creamier than the Pretty Smart and it doesn't have that greasy type of a feel. This might be too fair. Let's just see. Yeah, this feels a bit creamier. We'll, we'll find out in a minute, but like it feels a bit creamier than the um, pretty smart one that I did the other day. Um, and so that is going to lead me to use a brush instead of the sponge. Because I feel like it's a bit creamier, so it might need a little bit of a brush blend out. It might be a touch too fair. And I'll talk about what it's reminding me of in just a second. It's not as... It doesn't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't spread as easily as the Pretty Smart one, which is got that little touch of greasiness, but it doesn't have that powdery feel. And I didn't freshly moisturize, so I won't have that be a mark against this product. Right off the bat, it is reminding me almost exactly of this foundation. This is the AOS Studio Pro Wear Full Coverage Foundation. This foundation is not full coverage, and it's a touch creamier, uh, thicker in consistency. Um, but this, the way this is blending, the way it's actually looking on my skin is reminding me almost exactly of how this looks. This looks beautiful, by the way, just so you know. Um, I am looking a little bit like a dead body, so you guys, please don't run away. It's fine. It's all going to work out fine. I'm not, in fact, a dead body. I'm still alive. And once I get, like, my eyes, the coverage and stuff evened out, it will be less scary. So just as a first impression, this is feeling really nice. It's, I feel like it's looking really nice as a first impression, just like from my face to the mirror. Um, it's looking like this might be a winner of a product. I haven't seen any reviews or anything on this. So I don't know what other people are thinking about this. Okay, so it is looking like just the teeny weeny tiniest bit crusty makeup-y. Um, but again, that's probably my fault because I didn't moisturize before I put it on. Um, within like, I'm going to say five, ten minutes, you might want to have your the space in between when you put your moisturizer on and then when you put your foundation on quickly but not too quickly um so that being said it's looking so pretty right now like just from my face to the mirror it's looking so pretty so um it says it's buildable i'm going to put a tiny bit more in my problem areas just like here not much i don't need more honestly like it's looking beautiful and natural it's got why won't it come out it's got like a bit of a glow. It's called a satin. Yeah, soft land satin. So it's got a tiny bit of a glow, but in my opinion, not too much.
and I don't think you would really want to use a sponge for this. Um, I just don't like I because of the way the foundation is I just don't think you would want a sponge for this so I like the brush better at this point I'll probably use it a couple more times and then maybe update some of my thoughts or whatever but as far as that goes it's looking pretty decent I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and I'll come back and we'll talk about it okay so here is the full face done and I like it I used um, this powder it didn't have any weird um, interaction my concealer went on fine blush i even used a bronzer today so what is happening to me but yeah everything went on top of it fine it's still looking very pretty i this powder does have, have a bit of a glow to it so um you could probably mat that down if you want less glow but like all in all i think this is looking like a good one i'll continue to wear it um a couple more times and i might update my thoughts um in the next couple of days but this one that i did recently i've already worn it three times and really liked it so um I don't, oops, I don't think that this is a dupe to this one. This one, to, in my opinion, is a better dupe to the Laura Mercier and the um, Morphe Light Form, um, and I like this one better. This one, I can't really place it except for in comparison to this. I think they're pretty similar. This one's less money, but it's not as readily available, so you'll have to um, decide which one of those that you would um, like as far as availability. So again, I think this is looking nice. Let me know in the comments if you guys have heard anything about this foundation, what people are saying about it. I will wear it for the rest of the day and update my thoughts as well. Um, and again, I'll wear it a couple more times and we'll just see how good it's looking. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding that bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.